before we start this video, please, please watch the video before you comment. Because I know everyone is going to look in the title and some people think that you can't criticize Lily Gal's performance. I'm not telling you to do that. It's okay to criticize, but don't harass her. Now, so, this video, I had a bad feeling this was going to happen. So, if you guys don't know, Resident Evil 4 Remake came out last Friday. And it was met with um, critical acclaim. It's getting very good reviews. A lot of people are really liking it. A lot of people love what they did with Ashley. A lot of people like Ashley now. But there was one aspect of the Resident Evil 4 Remake that people did not like. And it was Lily's uh, performance as Ada Wong. Now, Lily was actually Ada Wong in the Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City film that came out like two years ago. So Capcom decided to bring her back to voice her for the remake. I'm going to be perfectly honest. She really didn't do a good job as Ada. I thought she was a little too monotone. So, like I mentioned, it's okay to criticize her, her performance. But, of course, Resident Evil, a good portion of the fan base didn't do that. Of course not. What did they do? They harassed her. She posted a pic on Instagram showing, you know, her voice acting uh, Ada Wong. And throughout the comment section, it was just filled with so much disgusting hate. Now, yes, there were some that were criticizing her and saying that, hey, look, you weren't good as Ada. Well, I hope you improve later on. But many people were saying things like how you were fucking horrendous as Ada. You should never, ever voice her again. You should never even be a part of the Resident Evil series again. Ne quit acting. Yada, yada. It was just a lot of hate for her. And to no one's surprise... She pretty much deleted her Instagram. She basically deactivated her Instagram, which is really unfortunate. She used to have, like, I think 200 or 300 posts. Now she only has just one post because of all the backlash that she's gotten and all the hate she's getting. And it's like, this is not, like, come on, come the fuck on. You know, there's nothing wrong with criticizing her. But why her go to the next level of harassment? You know, like, wh what's the point? What, what, what is your objective of doing this? What is your objective? Let's just run her away of social media so that way she never ever voices Ada again or doesn't do acting ever again. It's fucking horrible, you know? And I saw one comment on Twitter trying to blame this on Spear Hunter because Spear Hunter criticized her. Spear Hunter literally said in the video, do not harass Lily. Do not harass her. Just because I didn't like her performance unless she was just monotone, don't harass her. But they did it anyways. What this reminds me of is the what happened to Laura Bailey back in uh, 2020. When she was Abby in Last of Us 2. And she was getting a lot of hate. Because of how Abby was portrayed in Last of Us 2. And I'm like, well, that's not Laura Bailey's fault. She was just doing her fucking job. If you want to take your, the blame, you take the blame at Neil Druckmann for writing Last of Us 2. So it feels like, the, like to the people that are giving Lily so much hell... You should kind of point the finger at Capcom because Capcom was the one that decided to recast Ada Wong. You know? It, it, it's just... It's just another day in the internet, man. And it's like, this right here is the prime example. Like, you, you know how you see these articles saying like how gamers are toxic, the gaming community is toxic and all that, and a lot of people try to deny that? Well, this right here is the prime example fucking example of this this is the prime example of this because so many people go to the next level in first level is criticism which is fine but then the next level 
is harassment, saying things like how you should never ever voice Ada again, you should never ever act again, quit acting, get the fuck, or worst case scenario, go kill yourself. It's just putrid. It's disgusting. And what's even more petty about this is Resident Evil 4 Remake is getting review bombed because of this. Like, so many people hate Louie's performance so much that they actually go as far as saying that the remake was ruined. That the remake was ruined because of Louie. Like, that's just a massive reach. Look, you cannot like the performance but still enjoy the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not fair to Leon's voice actor, Ashley, Louise, all the other people that put their their heart into to this remake. What, you're just going to destroy the remake because of Louie's underwhelming performance? Like, this is just bullshit, man. Grow the fuck up, people, man. It's crazy that no matter social media, people just still do this, man. But that's social media for you guys. I feel bad for Lily. Look, I agree. Her performance was underwhelming. I didn't like. I didn't like her performance. You know, from what I'm seeing, clips of her and all that. But she did not deserve to be harassed off of social media. Like, come the fuck on, people. Grow up. Grow up. I mean, I criticize DK Oldies all the time. Why am I bringing this up, you may ask? Well, it's because I watch um, DG 2007. She, um, I watch her content. She's like a big fan of DK Oldies, and I even and I saw on her TikTok and on her YouTube page that she was getting harassed for liking DK Oldies. Now, I'm gonna keep it real with DG, she's a little oblivious to the situation, but she still doesn't deserve to be harassed. It got to the point that she delete, had to delete the video because she, her entire comment section was just full of people just, just viciously attacking her. Man, this is just sad. This is just sad, but Lily does not deserve this. You could criticize her performance. Nothing wrong with that. But harassing her is unacceptable. And it's just terrible that she's now, she left Instagram, and most likely she's going to leave social media. So, it's unfortunate. It, it's unfortunate. People are assholes, man. But that's all I got to say. Video Game Lord 58, sign out. Peace.